and it's just regular stuff you might find around your house. But one man has used it and had quite a wild time with it. That's next in Made of the QCA. Well, his neighbors think he's a little on the wild side. That's because a Quad City artist likes to take his creations outside for the finishing touches, turning a few heads with mountain lions, elephants, even dragons, all made in the QCA. That are doing what I do. And no one doing it quite like Muscatine artist Eric Fournier. I started out as an illustrator, uh, but I got tired of working two dimensionally. With the simplest of materials rolls of tape, scraps of newspaper, paper towels, and glue. The bulk of a given subject, as far as musculature and general shape, that's done with newspaper rolled up into cylinders and huge amounts of masking tape and tools that include a simple butter knife you want the grain of the fur in this case to lie and a tape measure to ensure the work he makes in here can get out of here i've got exactly 23 inches to work with if it goes one inch past that i've got to use at that point that's when the chainsaw will come out a fate that may lie ahead for this house guest who now stands guard in the kitchen Eric's focus, drive, and energy comes from an unexpected source. He explains that a disability actually gives him the ability to create. Actually, I've taken that man of depression and turned it into a, an ally. It can be very much make a victim of people that suffer from it. But if you can take that energy uh, and direct it positively with a vision behind it, it it, really some remarkable things can be done with that energy energy to bring more of these animals to life in the form of resin sculptures some of which are already on display in a number of zoos i think it gives you a sense of purpose i think it gives you something you can be proud of uh, as an individual doing something this rare and we've made a link to that so you can see all of his work on our website at kwqc.com i was really impressed That's yeah. so neat.